Okay, so for the next phase of our project, we're gonna go ahead and move to the roof framing part of it. Um, we have a few um, components just like our wall framing. Um, we have some different components for our roof framing. Um, so our main, main members here are the parts that go from the top of the double plate all the way up to the peak here. And those uh, components are gonna be called our rafters. Uh, we'll take a moment to actually go through the math of how we figure out how long those are and to figure out what angles uh, to put on there. And we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, we also have the member that is right at the top um, in our peak here. Um, and that's gonna be called, or that's gonna be called the um, ridge beam. And that basically acts as um, a nailing surface for both of our rafters to join into. Um, there's some layout with that. And we're gonna also talk about the connector um, that goes up there for our, our rafter. Um, that's going to be a rafter hanger and it makes the process of hanging the rafters a little bit easier. Um, after we get the roof framed out, we're going to show you how to frame in the gable wall. Um, it's, it's very similar to framing our exterior walls. It's just basically the, our top plate is angled. Uh, it's the same pitch of our roof. Um, and then once our, our roof is framed, we're going to go ahead and show you how to brace it with this uh, central um, uh, ceiling brace here that holds our ceiling joists in place and then we also have this angled brace um, that basically holds our gable walls from going back and forth. Um, so why don't we go ahead and select our rafters and we'll um, start our rafter layout. <laughs> 